What is up guys? Jake here with some more Vainglory gameplay for you. And as you can see this time, I am on Catherine. Pretty crazy for me to be on Catherine, uh, but that's what I chose this time. Playing with a couple of guys from the guild, you see there, uh, Ringo and Cruel. So just, they were actually some of them, I think one of them wasn't even ranked yet. So just a casual match, uh, but Trip Q there getting in and just playing something a little different. So I grabbed my uh, contract and a couple couple of pots and just we get to work obviously you know starting off on the on the farming just back and forth back and forth but I had a, a good time playing with these guys I think it was the first time I've had a match with them and it's just fun playing with different guys in the guild pretty much everyone in the guild is just fans of the channel uh, got some really good guys actually I guess that have been playing Vainglory for a while in the guild and then we've got some that are brand new so it's just a good mix uh, but we're all having a pretty good time every once in a while. Again, as you guys have seen, doing the scrimmage and whatnot. And then every once in a while just getting in here and doing some matches. But the, the guild is already level 8, which is crazy. I mean, there's some guys grinding it out. We're full 50 members. We will be doing some uh, culling of people that just aren't active and things like that. So if you've asked me and, and it's full, just st stick around. You know, uh, stay in touch and we'll try to get you in. Right here, Saul, uh, overextending a little bit, we jump out, grab him, and take him down. I think we get him right here. Yep, take him down. He he did that a lot this match. He was really pressing the, the lane hard and putting a lot of pressure on our uh, Ringo. But we, we helped him out a little bit there. You see there, Catherine coming up. No big deal. Jewel jumping in. But, uh, you know, Ringo putting some fire on him and, and just running him off. You don't want to spend a lot of time in a fight like this right here at the start of the match because what are you going to get? You're not going to take a turret down. You're not going to uh, hurt them too bad. They're going to be dead for, what, 8, 10 seconds? I don't even know what the penalty is this early in a match, but it's very, very little. Uh, so you don't want to waste a lot of time with that. We get back to farming, and I think probably – mid game on this is a pretty quick match but mid game we probably wasted too much time fighting with these guys don't forget to farm you know you've got to keep that gold coming in that gives you the edge on them if you're getting gold and they're not even if you lose a team fight maybe here and there early or mid game uh, it can pay off that continued farming can pay off later uh, but again i wanted to help out ringo because saw is a pain in the butt early game especially you know when you don't have as much range or if you can't just stand toe to toe with him uh, so I wanted to help Ringo out. I knew he was going to be uh, having his hands full early in the match. That's why I did rotate up probably more than I normally would if there was a Celeste or something like that. Uh, he does it again, uses his ability. We come up, take him out, sort of try to teach him a lesson early on, you know, get him a little bit gun shy to where he won't continue to do that. Uh, so we'll see if that works out. Uh, Cruel kept going down. I don't know. We just We hadn't played together, so he kept going down to uh, grab that farm, and I had to sort of move my way up. So I was just trying to give him the signal to stick with me. So we just continue doing our, our farm thing, trying to stay ahead of them on that. Uh, what do I grab? I think we go to the store right here. Let's see if I can grab. I uh, grab my Storm Guard banner working towards contraption. Uh, I see. I catch him at the store here. I see him. So come on down and then right there, try to get focused on Jewel. Uh, probably put too much damage onto Catherine, but with Ringo rotating down, that was beautiful. Uh, we absolutely wrecked Jewel's face. And then decided to go ahead and grab the the gold mine for our for our troubles there. Catherine comes down, but she's not going to do anything. She's not going to stop this. Uh, there's Saw, but he's too little, too late. We get it and then just move on. Uh, we've got the gold mine at this point. Back to the farm, just keeping it going, trying to keep that gold coming in to where we can get our, our items, stay ahead of them on that. Uh, it's such, you know, the more and more I've learned about this game, it's what, it's probably 50% or 60% positioning and when to engage and when not to and 40 percent you know items and, and gold farming and that's the that's the game guys that really is it uh, if you get those two things down you're going to be hard to guard i don't care what what heroes you play any of that stuff it's all secondary to to positioning uh decision making and then your items uh, the ability to buy your items what you buy is even less important than than actually just having the gold to, you know you've got to have the gold to get it if I'm going to, I'm actually thinking about doing a series where I just, whatever is recommended, the only thing I can buy is recommended items because just to sort of try to illustrate that point, that as long as you are beating them on the farm, you're getting that gold, you're able to buy the items. Yes, there's, be there's builds that are better than others, but honestly, uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you're beating them on the gold, you're probably going to win all things else being equal. Uh, again, taking Jewel down really, really quickly. We do lose, uh, was that Ringo? Yeah, Ringo goes down. Uh, but we're beating on Catherine. I think we take her out here, too, as, ma as a matter of fact, right there. She's already got her contraption. You see she's laying down scout mines pretty regularly. 
uh, but I'm not far from mine either. We still a little bit of their farm, just again trying to trying to starve them out a little bit, keep ourselves in gold and keeping them dry. I am running out of power a lot in this match, so we're here and I think as soon as I get contraption, maybe I start grabbing some um, some reuse in the form of I believe um, I think I can't remember if it was clockwork what towards clockwork whatever I did there we'll see about that or not reuse but some uh, some batteries some power regeneration uh, get back grab our farm I'm pretty pretty solid on gold right here so I want to protect this you know our our turrets obviously exposed here so we rotated up just to try to help that out uh, stop it Catherine stuns me why I have no idea it's insane. Uh, but I go ahead and stun Jewel. We put some pretty good burst damage on her. She pops off the big red button. Uh, that that hurts. You got to get out of the way of that one. And so right here, this fight, they win pretty pretty easily. I think it was because Cruel sort of did his own thing here. You got to remember to, uh, yeah, and, and Ringo's pinging You got to remember to sort of stick with the team. Someone, I, I listened to a podcast, I think it was, and I heard some advice that I thought was probably as good advice that I've heard. It says, even if someone's doing, if they're making a mistake, you sort of got to ride and die with the team. Stick with them. And I'm trying to do that more, more and more. Just, you know, even if they, if they're doing something wrong, you've got a better chance of it working out, you know, maybe just dumb luck or, or just catch a lucky break, catching someone off guard. If you're together, than you do if, you know, you say, okay, well, he's being, he's doing something wrong. So I'm going to continue to do what's right. Then you're separate. And we all know what happens. Then you just sort of go down with them getting that turret. I go ahead and grab the minion mine, get us some, a uh, little bit stronger minions coming through the lane, try to slow them down just a little bit. Uh, right here, they went in and actually pressed pretty good. I think they killed a few of them. I'm not sure what all happened in this team fight over here. I think maybe uh, they we lost Cruel and they lost one. Uh, so Ringo's down here with me. We just sort of hide in the bushes. I was hoping they would come down here. He's kind of getting up there where you might get draw the fire. You see Saul wasting that uh, that ability. I'm not sure who he was shooting at. Maybe he was shooting at Ringo. And this is a pretty neat exchange here because it sort of goes back and forth, back and forth. I'm on Saw. Drop down that scout mine and just get out of there. You got Ringo uh, firing in. Put some good damage on Catherine, but they've sort of got the upper hand there until I use that ultimate. Then I take Saw out. Now we've got the upper hand. But as we start pressing up here, uh, really, really nice stun there by Cruel. Uh, here comes uh, Jewel down. So they have sort of have us on the run. She pops off that ultimate. Uh, I just go ahead and come on down because I'm, I'm dying a little bit too quickly in my opinion. So I grab that tier two shield, uh, come back up, engage Jewel, put the stun on her uh, right here. Who is that? Is that? Catherine comes back down, but Ringo comes up. I mean, she's back and forth, back and forth. Uh, hard to take everyone out. That I put the stun on Jewel right there, which gets us the kill. That makes Catherine retreat. Uh, and so right here, we sort of had our had our feel, and there's Saw showing up uh, full health. Because, again, it's such early game here. The penalty for dying is not that bad. So we're trying to get out of dodge. Uh, but if you'll notice, Cruel is cycling down as well. So Saw chases us. I try to put a stun on him just to help Ringo get out of the way. But Ringo comes back, puts a few uh, shots on him. And then right here, you see uh, Cruel coming down. I come around, put the stun on. Uh, actually, I don't think I, got, I had no power to put the stun on. But with Cruel coming over, he takes out Saul. Now that she, as Catherine shows up, we're chasing her. Uh, it's just back and forth. It's craziness. And I really don't like fights like this because, again, like I, like I was telling you guys, this entire time, we're not farming. We're not making any gold. Now, they weren't either. But still, I just don't like it. I'd rather be spending that time farming uh, because not a lot comes of it. I go ahead and try to get the gold mine back. Uh, Jewel jumps in. Catherine's there. And I think we actually win this fight right there. Cruel does a, a good bit of damage. Um, putting some stuns on them and just trying to keep them off of us so we can get that gold mine finish off. It's so close. Actually, we might lose this one here. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, Cruel goes down, and then I'm I'm not far behind. Ringo's rotating down, but uh, Saul shows up. Just too little, too late. Uh, they are hurt, but right there, Jewel pops off that ultimate, sort of gets them some space. I go ahead and grab my Fountain of Renewal and another uh, Tier 1 Shield. Just trying to keep my, my shield up and, and stay alive a little bit longer in those fights because I think they're pretty heavy with Crystal Power, if I remember right. Uh, trying to protect our turret here. Just run Saw off, get him out of there. Probably a wasted ultimate there. That was dumb, but oh well. Uh, he comes back down. He's not very high on health. I'm not sure why he's doing that. He had that stun, uh, that slow on me a little bit there. But right there, get the stun on him. Uh Ringo comes up, or excuse me, Cruel comes up, gets the kill. Catherine's fighting us. I think she thought she was invincible, uh, but she's not. She dies. I don't, maybe not here, but she dies quite a bit in this match. Come back, clear out some of those uh, minions out of the lane. And then here, I want to get back to farming. Ringo's got the gold mine going. Uh, Catherine comes down, wants to fight there. They run her off. 
Finally, we get that gold mine back. Uh, the payout had just happened, so we just kind of missed that. Grab my tier two boots and a uh, hourglass, just again trying to get to where I've got a little bit of more power coming in. Um, seem like I'm always out right there. We get in a team fight two on three here. Ringo does cycle down just in time, gets a few shots off. I believe Gat Cruel goes down here, but Saul is is right there. I'm going to try to stun on him. And this was probably done because Ringo was in a bad spot and I was trying to help out, chase him in. And uh, as soon as he goes down, I'm in trouble here because it's three on one and nothing to do. So I knew I wasn't going to make it out of there. I thought, well, maybe I can accidentally kill one of them or something, but it, there was no way. So they take us out. Uh, not looking great right here. They're ahead on the turrets. They uh, sort of have just won a team fight, aced us. So we're, I'm trying to get everybody to regroup right here. This constant back and forth of you know, two on one, one on two, three on one, you know, not always having the disadvantage, but not always having the advantage. I just want to group back up to where we're running together uh, with us, us having a turret down. We need to be sort of uh, group fighting at this point. So right here, again, Cruel sort of falls back, doesn't doesn't come with a group. Uh, so Cruel, work on that a little bit. Just try to stay with the group. I know you were trying to farm and that's important and we probably should have been farming. But uh, again, just sort of ride or die with the group, whatever they do, just, just stick with them. He does come up right here. Uh, but he comes out up the backside. He probably should have came up our way. Uh, right there, ultimate it from Jewel again. He comes running in, gets a quick kill on uh, on Saw, which was nice. Right there, the ultimate from Ringo. And then Cruel, uh, they, they really did well in this little skirmish back and forth here. I wish he'd have been up there a little quicker, uh, but no big deal. I grabbed the clockwork, and then now they are falling back. Uh, at least Ringo is to, to regroup and try to get a little bit more organized here. Again, with the clockwork, I feel better about my power situation now and my reuse. So just running it back up the lane, getting ready to get back into the fight. We know they're going to be waiting on us. I've got my contraption. I'm laying mines just everywhere. Uh, right there, Saul's got his little ability down. We put a stun on him. Again, we're in a, a two on three. I think Cruel is coming up finally here. Uh, right there, get my ultimate off, silence a couple of them. And we get Saul down here. I'm pretty sure he runs off, but... For some reason, I thought we killed him there. Catherine, again, just sort of taking all the all the damage, and then Jewel jumping in. That was not a good move. Uh, she goes down while she's using her ultimate. Then Catherine's going to go down, I believe, right there. Yep, Catherine goes down. Now we've got them three on one. Even though we're hurt, uh, we can still get in here and get some damage on this turret for sure. And then Ringo, uh, I think, tries to take chase down Saw. Probably not the best move. Uh, Cruel comes down. Probably a smart move there because we didn't have a wave of minions to go ahead and try to come down and grab this this Kraken, but Saul is still alive. So I go ahead and put the, the flare there so we get some vision. We see him walk in. Uh, he walks right into it, put a stun on him, just sort of keeping him ran off. And then he keeps going. I think actually the Kraken put a shot on him. That's what it looked like from here. And it gave me the kill. I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but he goes down. We get the Kraken. I grab some tier two armor and we get ready to make a push here. It's a, it's a good one for sure. Uh, right there, there's just Jules, the only one up here. Ringo immediately putting some good damage on her. Uh, she tries to get out of there, but too late. Then Catherine shows up, so it's constantly us having the advantage here. Cruel's trying to make his way back. Uh, right there, putting some good damage on Catherine as well. Nice stutter stepping by Ringo. Saul locks himself in and gets a little bit of damage put on him. And then Ringo is, I think, trying to get out of here. Yeah, he comes running around. I'm putting a little damage onto the turret. Uh, but right here, we catch Catherine, take her out. And I believe that might have been an ace right there. Did we get all of them? Pretty sure. Really good job by Ringo there. Yeah, I think he got two or, th or three of those kills. Uh, so really nice job. He's putting a lot of damage on those turrets. I guess his build is probably full, if not close to it. Uh, then we just come right in and end this match. We had the one crack and just come all the way through all of their turrets. I'm not sure I've ever done one completely start to finish on one Kraken. Uh, Jewel comes out, tries to help out, uh, put the stun on her. Uh, Ringo again, putting out that massive damage, takes her out. And then only one turret left. We take it out. Saul comes in, but it is too late, buddy. He's going to work on that, on the uh, Kraken there. I just go ahead and put a stun on him. I know my guys are putting heavy damage on the vein, and boom, it is gone. We get the win. Uh, and I had a ton of gold there. Could have got some good stuff for that. All right, well, there you go. Me playing a little bit of a tank, a support role, something that I haven't shown you guys yet. I do enjoy it. It's it's fun. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. There's the stats. I'll give everybody a thumbs up because it was a fun match. And obviously, here are the builds. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.